Hi everyone, I'm Elijah D. Welcome back to Music Greatness. For today's lesson, I'm going to break down Blackbird. It goes just like this. Okay, so for this part, I'm going to break down the intro, the first verse, and also the second verse. We're playing in the key of G. And for the chords, we're starting with G major. Playing G on the left, G and B right hand. Then we're moving up on A minor 7. A on the left, G and C. After that, we have G over B, playing B on the left, G and D right hand. Then we have a G major chord again with a different voicing. That's G on the left, D and B right hand. And those are the chords of the intro. So we have G, A minor, G over B and G again. So, the intro lasts for two measures. For the first measure, we're going to count with three beats, and for the second one, four beats. It goes like this. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. What we're going to do is play one chord per beat. So, we have G on the first beat, A minor on the second, and G over B on the third. And in between, I'm going to replay the G on my right hand. So that will be one and two and three and. With the left, one and two and three and. So that's the first measure. Then we have this. First off, on the left, I'm playing G on every beat. One, two, three, four. Right hand, first, I'm playing D and B at the same time on the first beat, and then on the E of the second. One knee and two E and. One knee and two E and. I'm going to do the same for the third and fourth beat. 3 E and 4 E and. So for the full measure, 1 E and 2 E and 3 E and 4 E and. Let's repeat. 1 E and 2 E and 3 E and 4 E and 1 E and 2 E and 3 E and 4 E and. Okay, now we're going to complete the pattern replaying. D with our thumb. One E and two E and three E and four E and. So I'm replaying D on the and and also on the a uh of the first beat. One E and. Uh, and then I'm going to replay D also on the and of the second beat. Two E and. Uh. So. One E and two E and one E and two E and and again we're going to do exactly the same on the third and fourth beat. Three E and four E and so the full measure. One E and two E and three E and four E. Now 
with the left, playing on every beat. Keep that pattern in mind, we're going to use it a lot during the song. Okay, here's the intro. Two, three, four. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. Simple as that. Okay, we can now take a look at the section of the verse. We have new chords here, starting with C major. That's C and G on the left, C and E on the right. Then from here, we're going to move chromatically. We're moving up, first with D sharp diminished. That's D sharp and G. D sharp and G again, right hand. One octave higher. Then we have D at four. That's D and G for the left, D and F sharp right hand. So I'm playing the root, the fourth, the root again, and the measure third. Still moving up, we have D sharp with a flat five now. D sharp and G, D sharp and A. Going to E minor, now I'm going to play three notes on my right hand, one note on my left. So E, then B, E, G. Okay, for the next one, I'm going to take down the E's right here by one half step to play D sharps. And now I have D sharp augmented. D sharp on the left, B, D sharp and G. Coming after that, we have C minor, that's C on the left, G, C, D sharp. Moving down on G over B, same as before, but now on the right hand, I'm playing it with B. So B, G, B, D. Then A7, two notes right hand, one note on the left, A. G and C sharp. And finally, we have this. That's D7 sus4. D on the left, G and C. Okay, let's play this verse. Two, three, four. Okay, so as you can see, I'm going to start the verse exactly like I'm playing the intro. So G, A, G over B, and then one measure on G major. And now I'm going to use the new chords. C, C sharp, D, D sharp. And what I'm going to do here is play the bottom note on my left, on the beat, and then on the end, I'm going to complete and play G. So for the left, one and two and three and four and. Right hand on every beat. One, two, three, four. Let's combine the two, left and right. One and two and three and four. Then we have this on E minor and D sharp augmented. So rhythmically, we're using this pattern again. One E and, two E and, three E and, four E and. So 
I'm playing E and G at the same time. One E and two E and three E and four E and and then D sharp and G at the same time. And then I'm going to replay B to complete my pattern. One E and two E and three E and four E and. And I'm going to play the root note on my left on every beat. One, two, and then on the third beat I'm going to switch. Three, four. So it goes one E and two E and three E and four E and. So from C, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, coming up next we have. So, next measure, I'm going to only count up to two beats. One, two. I'm simply going down here from D at four, down on C sharp diminished. One and two, and on the left. One and two, and then next measure, I have this. So I'm playing C major, then C minor, using the pattern on my right hand. We're playing C, the root note, on every beat. One, two, three, four. Then I'm going to continue using the pattern with G over B and A7. Finishing, I have D7 sus4 to G, still using the pattern. So from C, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, after that, to finish the first verse, I have this. So here I'm playing C. So C on the left, C and E on the beat. And then on the end, I'm going to play G. One and, two and, second beat, G over B with. B on the left, B and D right hand, and on the end of the second beat, play G again. One and two and. Then we have the pattern on A7, the pattern on D7 sus4, and the pattern on G. So with G on the left, G and B. Okay, let's play the verse from the top. Two, three, four. One, two, three, one. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. That's the first verse. We can now play the second verse. We're simply going to repeat the first verse. For the second verse, we're not going to play this. 
we're directly going to stop the section landing on G. So, Just after that, we have the first colors that we're going to see in part two. For now, let's recap. That's all for this first part. For the rest of the song, please head over to musicgreatness.com. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.